Quick question, would you like to reduce your risk of breast cancer by 64%? How about 89%? Females, what I'm about to share with you is extremely powerful, so stay with me for the next few minutes. Hey, my name is Carl, founder of Fit Family at 24-7, and I recently read a research article on how these two special foods can reduce breast cancer risk. Now, I don't know about you, but cancer has affected uh, you know, people in my life, personally in my family, and if you're like most Americans, you could say the same thing. Cancer is everywhere, and it is such a harsh and horrible disease, and unbeknownst to me until recently, there are a lot of efforts that are going about helping to figure out how to cure cancer from a natural, um, holistic method, and there's a lot of things we can do to prevent our risk of getting cancer. So if you're interested in reducing your risk, ladies, of breast cancer, uh, this is for you. If you're watching this and someone in your family, or you have a family history of cancer, this is for you. If you have a special person in your life or a friend or family member, a coworker who you think this information would benefit, please share this video with them because we just want to make a healthier, happy world and specifically empower parents uh, to live the healthiest, and most active lifestyle they can. And so anyways, let's get to it. So this recent research done by um, Australians at the University of Perth, right? They compared diets and lifestyles of more than 2000 Chinese uh, women who attended a breast cancer clinic in China. Okay, so the study was conducted in China. And what they found was absolutely phenomenal that you could reduce your risk of breast cancer if you ate this certain food by 64%. Now, I don't know about you, but just that alone got my attention. It kind of zoned me into what I was reading. I was like, holy crap, what is this miracle food? Like, what is a special thing, right? And so come to find out it was mushrooms, like simple white cap mushrooms. Now, they analyzed a whole bunch of different types of mushrooms and they all had beneficial uh, anti-cancer reducing uh, properties to them, but white cat mushrooms were part of the solution, were part of the way you could reduce your breast cancer by 64%. And so it's amazing how many regular things we have at our disposal today uh, in terms of food and herbs and spices that can actually really help us live a healthier life and have a direct impact on the risks we face as we age. And what if you could teach your kids to eat in a way that supports a healthy, active lifestyle and reducing the risk to all these diseases that are plaguing our current society? What if you could teach your kids to do that starting when they're really little, right? And that's really the baseline of what we're getting at here to like start to eradicate some of these diseases. So anyways, 64% by eating mushrooms. Now, the study also found that when they combined eating mushrooms with drinking green tea, like just green tea, right? 89% less likely to uh, have breast cancer in their lifetime. 89%, that is crazy to me. And I don't know if that sounds crazy to you, but how simple would it be to drink a, a one or two glasses of green tea every day, include mushrooms in your diet every single day. And by the way, the amount of mushrooms that you had to eat, it wasn't like you're eating truckloads of mushrooms to uh, get this uh, health benefit effect in your body. It was a third of a cup or 10 grams of mushrooms. So here's what I like to do. Here's a, a little tip of how you can uh, eat mushrooms and make them taste good, right? Because if you just grab a mushroom and eat it, I don't know about you, but like that is not appetizing to me at all. It sounds kind of gross actually. But when you include it in your food, it can be great. So here's uh, two ways you can do it. Number one, you could uh, in the morning, right? Hopefully you're eating a healthy breakfast. If you're not, it's something you should start doing. But in, in the morning, what I like to do is I like to cook scrambled eggs and I like to put a few different vegetables in it. I like to put spinach, about two cups of spinach. So I have cooked spinach in my eggs. I like to put mushrooms. So I'll slice up a few mushrooms. Now I know it's gonna be a third of a cup. Before I would just kind of grab a handful, slice up the mushrooms, put them in my frying pan when I'm making the eggs in the morning, right? And any other vegetables that you feel like that you like, onions, tomatoes, uh, you know, red peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers, right? Anything that you think would be appetizing, throw in the pan, mix it up. It only takes a few minutes to scramble some eggs and some vegetables. And then you have a healthy balanced breakfast. Maybe put in a, a piece of, of whole wheat toast if you need some complex carbs, or, you know, there's a lot of other options you can do. 
But that would be one way you can include mushrooms in your daily diet. The other way would be to, you know, let's say for lunch, have a salad and make sure you have a third of a cup of mushrooms on your salad. And if you don't, like if you don't prepackage it, bring with you to work or bring it bring with you to what you're doing for the day, then, you know, if you eat out and eat at a restaurant, get a healthy salad and make sure they give you extra mushrooms. Here's what people don't realize. You can ask for anything at restaurants, right? You could literally ask for a plate full of mushrooms if you were crazy enough to do that. I'm not saying you should do that because that's just weird, right? But you could do that. So if you order a healthy salad, then asks for, ask for, uh, ask how many much mushrooms is on it and then ask for an extra or two, you know, handfuls of mushrooms on your salad so you know you're getting in the health benefits of the anti-cancer uh, properties of the mushroom. So anyways, I thought this information was unbelievable and it is going to be a benefit to you if you implement it on your daily basis. Super simple. Uh, there's going to be a link of where you can actually read and learn about the study so you can get all the resources of where I got it from. Uh, but I just wanted to bring this to you because this is amazing. I thought it was unbelievable and you're going to get, we're going to keep sharing with you more and more uh, beneficial information to help you live Parents to help you be empowered, to help you live a healthy, active lifestyle so you can teach your kids how to do the same thing. Anyways, uh, Carl from Fit Family here with you for a few minutes today. Just wanted to share that important message with you. And I appreciate your time, your attention. And make sure to uh, follow our Facebook page if you have more questions or you want to learn more about this type of awesome information or even message us if you have questions about this, okay? Feel free to message us on our Facebook page and we'd love to have a chat with you one-on-one -on -one to see what we can do to help you and empower you in your life to live healthier and more active. So with that, thanks for the time. Appreciate you. We'll talk to you soon.